There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One more. One more. You got it. Yeah. All you. Uh, there you go. Good work. There's the man I was looking for. Good work, out, kid. How we doing, Cap? It is just Cap, right? Yeah, you got it right. All good here, Coach Dub. Mm, good stuff, kid. You've been building a lot of trust in a short amount of time. Keep it up. Well, on that note, possible to get some extra reps in this week. Of course. What are you trying to get better at? All right, good. Let's get out there. Let's get it. Oh, they're actually going to make me practice. I did not expect that. And this guy's talking. I don't care what you're saying. I, they've had that cutscene since Madden 17. All right, welcome, everyone, back to this Madden 23 Superstar mode. We are here now and I guess, practice. And that is a touchdown right off the gate. Touchdown for CJ Lewis. We're practicing our inside run here. Score a touchdown on this drive. I'll try my best. And I'm not gonna score a touchdown. I'll get a first down. Is it gonna is it gonna have me redo it? Probably. Yeah, it's, it's gonna have me redo it. Oh, okay, no, I get to start off where I was left. And I'm gonna get stopped. Can CJ get in the end zone? He cuts back right. He's at the one yard line. This would be third down. I don't know why they're celebrating. Third down. CJ walks right into the end zone. One more for the gold. Oh, cut left. First down at the five yard line. CJ Lewis. Let's, let's finish this practice. I hope this counts for practice for the week because I don't want to actually go through this and practice. If I have to do another practice, I'm probably just not going to show it, to be brutally honest with you. And this will be the touchdown. C.J. Lewis gets a gold medal, and he upgrades his inside run. I don't care about this cutscene. It's been the same since Madden 17. Goal successful. Alrighty, brand focus. Important appearance. Also has an interesting offer for an event appearance. That's some influential people in attendance. Sure thing, I'll get the extra grid. Yeah, and I still have to do the on-field drills. All right, I'll do this right now, but I won't show you guys. Alrighty, we have finally made it to game day. Going up against my favorite team, the Los Angeles Chargers. We got plus two awareness, plus two ball carrier vision, and plus two break tackle. We are currently the only undefeated team right now in the NFC North. We are currently eighth for points per game on the offense, 28th in offensive yards per game, pass yards, but second in rushing yards. Let's go ahead and see if we can take out Justin Herbert and the Chargers. Here we are back at US Bank Stadium here for this class of the conferences against Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen in the Los Angeles Chargers. This defense with Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, Sante Samuel Jr., is going to be a challenge to go up against. And they have the former Viking Eric Kendricks now at that middle linebacker. And we're going to be starting off with the ball here. Um, let's see if we can get some positive yardage here on this first play. And we do. We're, uh, it could have been a bigger run. And, I mean, hey, I went forward a little bit more than I expected. C.J. Lewis last week, 29 rushes, 113 yards, and a touchdown. I feel like I should have had more yards, but I remember that I had so many carries in a row. Of just terrible, terrible blocking for my old line. We're gonna go with the pass play here for Kirk Cousins. I'm a, I'm a block Bosa. Kirk Cousins, he's get rid of the ball. He throws a heater downfield, and it's nearly picked by Sante Samuel Jr. All right, third and three after that terrible, terrible pass from Mr. Kirk Cousins. I, I helped him on the block too, and he's gonna give it to Jay Jettas, but it's gonna be a first down. I'll take it. Oh, Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison are both on tempting streak routes. And Darwin James is on the right side of the field. If that safety up on the top left plays up, he's not. He's going to play back. He's going to play black. I got a good I got a good block. K.J. Osborne with the great reception. I said he's going to play black, bro. That is just nope. That's not what I wanted to say. I'm going to do this again. Uh, Justin Jefferson, it's not, he's not playing up on him, but he's Justin Jefferson. He's Justin Jefferson. He's He got knocked out. I don't know who he passed it to, but Derwin James is on that end, so that makes sense how it got knocked out. They're in six now. Um, I guess we'll go for four verts, but I don't think it's going to work, mainly because Kirk Cousins is our quarterback. Um, Kirk, just Kirk, he got sacked, didn't he? Nope, he threw it away. At least we'll go walk out with three. And the Chargers go down the field as expected and score a touchdown, so we're down seven to three here in this game. Will the streak be over? Will we go to two and one? 
We're going to find out. This Chargers team on paper is just outstanding. But can they get it done? We're going to stay with the run here because this is they're not great audibles, not going to lie. Going up the middle and getting absolutely nothing there. Two yards, and now it's third down. All right, third down. We're going to go a play action here and hope for the best. And hope Kirk Cousins doesn't get sacked. I'm going to... I Okay, Morgan Fox. Apparently, when I do my Chargers franchise, that doesn't happen. But, of course, when I'm playing face of the franchise, the superstar mode, Chargers defense is absurd. Oh, oh! Break free! KJ, get the block! Ah, oh, he couldn't make it there. Oh, no. Is that John Johnson on the Chargers? He is not on... Hold on. It is John Johnson. Oh, sick. I wish we had him in real life. I didn't expect number 67 to get that block, but CJ Lewis is in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. CJ getting sturdy with it. Let's go. And the Chargers did not score um, early second quarter here. Let's see if we can get some positive yardage here. Get positive yardage, about four yards there. Eight rushes, 61 yards, and a touchdown. Great start for CJ. Justin Jefferson, they're playing press up on him. Asante Samuel, Jay Jettas, you should be able to burn him. You should be able to burn him. Kirk to Jay Jettas. Can he make it? He's got Derwin on him, and Derwin's going to catch up. Great completion for Justin Jefferson, who, why is number 98 on his shoulder pads? Third and eight. Big third down here. If we get a touchdown, that'd be great. If not, well, we're not going to. Uh, fourth and five. Yep, we got like three yards on that. Oh, J pressing up on Jay Jettas again. KJ Osborne, you're going to have to go on some sort of slant. I won't lie. I won't lie. Justin, can you burn him once again? Nope, he can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He cannot. He just, I don't understand how that happened. Third and nine. These are bad plays, bro. These plays are just not good. KJ Osborne is probably on the best route. I'm going to have to sit back and block. And hope that Kirk can throw the ball. Jay Jet is wide open, but he doesn't throw a high pass. Bro, he would have caught that. If you threw it over Asante, he would have caught that. Oh, what the hell? They turned the ball over. First and goal. CJ, can he get into the end zone for his second touchdown? CJ Lewis in the end zone. Touchdown. I don't know what that's celebrating. He's not even using his thumbs to point. Oh, dear God. Why are his hands so stiff? Why are his hands just stuck like that? Chargers tie it up after... They have 349 total yards of offense. That is not good. And that is why right there. Oh, my God. It's two straight runs I had. Getting a loss of yards from Khalil Mack. We cannot guard anyone. Anyone. No one can be guarded right now. Our O-line is so terrible. I cut, I hit Khalil Mack. I'm going to truck a man for the first down. This is abysmal. They're pressing Justin Jefferson again, dude. I have to. I have to. And the safety's going to press up. And there we go. Justin Jefferson. He has no speed, Madden. What is happening? Oh, Jefferson. He dropped it. Oh, my God. He was wide open. Third and 16 after, you guessed it, a Khalil Mack sack. Bars. Who would have thought? I'm saying right here because number 71 cannot defend. Justin Jefferson downfield and it's deflected. At least we might get a field goal out of it. Chargers did not score and there are three and a half minutes left in this fourth quarter. We have to control the clock. If we score, this game will be over. I don't know what that animation was. Third and four. I ended up running out of bounds. I didn't mean to. And now we need a first down to kind of keep control of this game. Who do they give it up to? They gave it up to someone, and they drop. This isn't even Kirk Cousins' fault no more. Everyone just keeps dropping the ball. Now it's fourth down, and the Chargers now have the momentum. And the defense comes through, and we have a chance to once again squeak by with another victory as I go absolutely nowhere. 39. We're trying to drain as much clock as possible. I plan on getting that clock under a minute because the Chargers did use all their timeouts. We're going to run a double slant here. And see if we can get the if we can get the field goal range, I'll be happy. But first down will seal this game. First down will seal this game. And Kirk Cousins overthrows the hell out of Vance. A fourth and one. And we stop the clock. And they're gonna have us go for it. We're going for it. This very, very interesting here. Can we get the first down? CJ is going to get it with forward progress, and that will seal the game. The Vikings are going to get the victory and go to 3-0 on the season.
the Chargers with a valiant effort, but the Vikings are once again going to squeak away with a victory led by C.J. Lewis. They're now 3-0 on the year. 20-23 is your final score. Final stats for the game. Herbert, 25-39, for 39, 281 yards, two touchdowns, but did throw two interceptions. Kirk Cousins, inaccurate, but it wasn't all his fault. Our receivers just kept dropping passes. 8 for 17, 124 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Uh, on the ground, C.J. Lewis had both the touchdowns for the Vikings. 25 attempts, 124 and 2 touchdowns. Longest run was 20 yards. Austin Eckler had 82 on the ground. And receiving-wise, Quentin Johnson led them in receiving yards with 84. Jay Jettas, 4 catches, 79 yards. He could have had a lot more, but he dropped like 3 how many drops? He had two passes he drops. One of them was a touchdown. Uh, Mike Williams, 6 for 62. And defense-wise, interceptions. Byron Murphy and Harrison Smith both had an interception. Sacks, Khalil Mack and Kenneth Murray both had one. And tackles for loss. Khalil Mack had five. And I believe three of those were on me because our, whoever was our left guard, or, it, terrible. God-awful. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.